scrap hounds. Did you check out the scrap suit? <laughs> How's it going? We got ourselves an appliance scrapping video. There's the remains of one stove and the insulation and its belly there. So I'm gonna work my way through these appliances, the washers, dryers, and stoves, all that good stuff. Get their copper goodies and anything that's good set in one pile. And uh, the steel just thrown in there and then it can be loaded up on the truck. Let's go, let's go. You're coming with me. Here's the motor. We'll have a quick test, see if she's copper or not. And no. No, sir, no, sir. That is aluminum. But the scrapyard does pay a little better for the aluminum windings than they do just the copper ones. Er, Anyway, those are aluminum windings. Boo! But this was a gas dryer, so we'll go ahead and continue pulling off the gas dryer parts. Here's your paperwork. We'll just throw that in the fire here quick. This is a wire that didn't pull off. Just toss them over there. We got there. There it gets rid of another piece of wire there. <laughs> One screw on the back side here. We'll do it. Little piece there. 
uh, probably a relay box. You can get some uh, contacts in there, I'm sure. And uh, here's the uh, gas burner piece out of that stove. Now this is the first, or stove, sorry, dryer. This is the first gas dryer that I've pulled apart so far. So that was pretty cool, that was pretty cool. The little stove pieces can be reused, they are handy. Grab the drill there. Make sure to grab any loose screws. And that's just for the sake of my yard here. Throw them in there. All right, all right. I don't know how easy they'll uh, maybe come apart from here. Okay. It was worth a try, it was worth a try. And looks like just a uh, belt roller. It has a, uh, a steel piece in the center, so you probably just punch that out real quick. And that way you're not getting a dirty scrap load. Appear to be all welded. There, that can be just thrown up in the box of the truck and then throw stuff into them, sort of thing. Because I don't have a trailer, I definitely have to utilize uh, the space in my truck the best that I can. What should we grab next? What should we grab next? Should we do a should we do a stove? Should we do a stove? Let's do a stove. There is still this panel, but uh, we'll set that just to the side for right now. <laughs> a little touch up, little touch up. I was forgetting myself there. There is the paddles inside dryers, uh, your plastic pieces that screw up inside. So I just ripped those off quick. Uh, I don't need any, you know, plastics in there. So that can go into hard plastic recycling. We'll just toss it over there. Uh, I did pop the motor off of the um, housing. And I just used uh, a punch here and then just tapped her out. But yeah, it's an aluminum winding. But, uh, you know, I'll, I'll still um, tear it down because my scrapyard pays definitely a lot better for the aluminum windings than they do for the, you know, just as the motor or uh, shred price sort of thing. Well, yeah, I get that little bit of copper off there, the bit of the brass ends. And I do believe that these blue stripes do mean that they are aluminum. Uh, if they're copper, as far as I know, it'll have yellow stripes on it. So if that's a thing of truth, let me know in them pesky old comments down below. <laughs> good stuff, good stuff. And yeah, the, the panel here, uh, we'll get that, uh, all that good stuff popped off there. And then the, the front just thrown on the shred. You know, it's just a couple screws, but uh, I can do that after. Like I say, I want to try to get as much as much of this scrapped down as fast as I can. I got today and tomorrow, and then I got to. I want to take this to the scrapyard uh, Monday, Tuesday, something like that. Check that scrap soup. Oh yeah. <laughs> Mm. 
Uh oh, that piece in here a little longer. It's plastic even in there, all sorts of good stuff. <laughs> Might have to gather up some more wood for the fire. Let that keep on cooking. All right, all right. So there's the dryer. There's that heavy ass stove. That thing was a beast. It scrapped me out trying to load it up. <laughs> and some of them, you know, from unloading the panels come off partly already. So, you know, some of this stuff half scraps itself. And I'll just finish the job. What's next? What's next? Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Which one do I want to scrap more? Oh, and I was looking back in the springtime. You guys remember that trash compactor that I found? Well, it's, it's buried back there, so we'll get that dug out of there too, hopefully. Maybe get that scrapped down. There's some bed pan, uh, bed frame stuff back there. And, uh, mattress spring thing some other stuff back behind the corner of the sh uh, trailer the little trailer there yeah that's a good stuff we'll definitely get a, a decent load again this time uh, that insulation let me know if stove insulation is like kale wool for uh, like refractory insulation is I might keep that uh, maybe for to line a forge or something but if that's not K wool I'll also look it up on the old Google monster but if it's not K wool then I'll just bag it up and take it to the dump I have to hit these with a file they may be brass as they had Little wires. Actually, I got a magnet here. And just see if a magnet sticks to it quick. Oh, no. That'll be a little bit of shred metal. They're just little tabs. You know, you could uh, just take a little flathead screwdriver, bend them over, pop those out. And something to pop the dials off. I had a flathead screwdriver here, but I don't. can be screwed on this one apparently was like glued looks kind of like a spray foam on there that's I was trying to find the screw there but uh,
sometimes those little clips can be pretty hard. Break. Are you kidding me? light and there's your front piece more shred and just a little bit of broken plastic and this front piece here it does have plastic on it. Come on. More shred. And there's nothing worse than them seeing plastic on your load at the scrap yard and them right away thinking you got 30 pounds worth of plastic in there and docking you 30 pounds off the get-go. It only takes a second or so to just make sure you have pretty much got no plastics. More plastic. Grab the magnet. Give this little piece a check, and it's no sticky sticky. So we'll hit that with the grinder. And I'll just get thrown into the non ferrous pile for now. And then I can, uh, and then there's a little, pop this guy out here. Gloves never make things easy. There we go. There is the goodies. Dryer scrap, dryer scrap, gotta love it, gotta love it. And then yeah, so same thing as this, I'll just keep this in my uh, pile of other stuff to scrap at a later date. Cause it'll be, you know, some brass and, you know, some black pipe there. Good stuff anyway, a bit more wire in there. Yeah, we'll get that thrown into plastic. I got a barrel over back by the scrap shack for that sort of stuff. And the motor, here's the, all the wire that come out of it. So pretty good all the wire. And then just that light bulb there. 
you know, and then these little guys will be little bits of um, some brass and uh, your silver contacts. Same as all these relay switches. You get uh, some brass, copper, and silver uh, contacts and stuff on them. Little circuit boards, you know, you can pop there's a couple pieces of brass in on there. And just a piece of brass, and that'd be your buzzer that uh, tells you when your clothes are done drying. Yeah, so you can pop that out, you know, like I say, there's a little piece of brass in there. This little board here, not really a whole lot, but uh, where the plug end is there, those would all be brass, a plated brass. Uh, not sure if it's silver plated or just a nickel plated, but uh, there we are. So, decent bit of wire, brass ends to clean up the motor and then just more of the the hard plastic heck yeah heck yeah <laughs> and the drum which these drums definitely not good to use as fire pits or anything like that as it is a galvanized metal and that'd be poisonous yeah not good not good so scrap hounds if you like this dryer scrapping video it was my first time scrapping a natural gas dryer, so that was a lot of fun. Kind of did it a little non-conventional, smashy smash, rippy rip, bangy bang. And yeah, smash that like button. Drop me a comment down below on anything you thought was interesting. And I'm going to move on to a stove, I suppose. But we need another video for that. Can't have stoves and dryers in the same video, can we? Well, we could. But we need more content if you're new to the channel you know what to do hit that subscribe button jingle that bell for more scrap and shenanigans cheers how's the scrap suit doing